I know one thing. <laughs> you shouldn't be doing it. That's why they had laws out there, you know, not to do it. Headless alligator carcasses found floating in a canal in Lee County. People who live there want to know who is killing and dumping them. Our NBC2's Kennedy Mason is local in Fort Myers Shores, where neighbors first alerted officials about the smell of these dead gators. Neighbors here along Caribbean Boulevard say they spotted alligator carcasses without heads along this canal. We reached out to Florida Fish and Wildlife and they say it could be related to a poaching incident. Jim Yankee was sitting on his balcony looking at the canal behind his house in Fort Myers Shore Saturday when he saw two boys over there on the seawall pointing at the water. Well, later on, I, I looked and I thought it was a fish carcass. Well, it happened to be an alligator with no head and no tail. And then further down at the gentleman's house next to it, there was another one down there with no tail. FWC says multiple gators were reported with missing heads and tails and one larger alligator where the carcass appeared to be mangled but with a head. Jim says his first guess was somebody was poaching them for the meat for the tail and the head for a trophy. Dwayne Letha lives right next door. He noticed the gator body parts Monday working on his yard. Yesterday I had to cut brush, bundle brush here on the dock. And right here, there was that one large chunk that kept floating up, up to the dock. I even pushed it away a couple of times, hoping it would float away. Jim and Dwayne say they haven't seen anything floating by today, which they're happy about. Well, it was a dead, dead animal smell. <laughs> Put it that way. <laughs> and it was loaded with a million flies, black flies. When I tried to push it away, it just, whew, it just was a big swarm of them. You can go to prison for up to five years for killing or capturing alligators illegally. I think it's not long enough. <laughs> Let them have a big fine. Let them spend some time. You know, really, and maybe they'll stop it. Why, why do you go kill something? FWC says if you see something like this, you should call FWC's nuisance hotline for gators. Jim says one of his neighbors did call the hotline on Sunday, but FWC wasn't open. FWC says they will continue to investigate and provide us with updates when they're able. Local in Fort Myers Shores, Kennedy Mason, NBC2.